Moon, he, she's, they's, and castaways, it is Mia. I'm Gabe. Hosting week two's Tea Time. So, first up on our agenda uh, is the first castaway to be voted off, Desi, who unfortunately had to say goodbye last week. Uh, the following challenge after Tetris was cursed items, in which the uh, castaways would submit their own cursed items, which our spectators would then vote on for the winner. Uh, we had Key starting out with in third place with her Among Us breakup letter. We had uh, in second place uh, Mason in his cursed glasses. And finally, our winner for cursed items bringing the millipedes to their victory was Nora's actually cursed painting of a dead relative. Yeah, that was scary. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, so all of the hot ones, hot ones, met uh, and basically freaked out in around the circles for like several hours in person. Most specifically the BRC uh, alliance. Yeah. There was live spectating of a two hour stress conversation, possibly due to sleep deprivation, which then resulted in them, um, instead of going with Lamb's sacrifice to be voted off, and instead to counter that with voting off our dearly beloved and very missed Thomas. Tom away, if you will. I mean, it's like we can still hear him now. Yeah, we can. You know, and his amazingly stylish outfits. It's just like, it's. Such this a loss. is such a personal loss because, like, he was a host our season and now he's gone. And you can feel back. the absence of him not being here. Truly, truly. Um, now, back to our regularly scheduled program. Uh, Mary Villanark. Yeah, so Mary basically decided one day to wake up and was just like, okay, I'm gonna do all the clues for the idols. Is this her villain arc? Is this her girl boss era? Is her, this her horse girl threatening the hot ones era? We don't know because she did say she was willing to throw all future challenges to scare them a little bit. Uh, and speaking of challenges, we had our first in-person challenge, Pictionary. Uh, so unfortunately, three of the hot ones came to the in-person event and most of the millipedes came, which caused the millipedes to absolutely destroy the hot ones. By almost 20 points. <laughs> yeah, um, there was a hidden advantage. Nobody found it, but Riley found the hidden gold coin. Okay, what are gold coins? Uh, so gold coins um, are this advantage that castaways can get from the code master. Uh, they're essentially a surprise tool that'll help them later. Um, and that's all we know about them so far. They're kind of a mystery item. So with Mary finding all of the idol clues, obviously the idol was not there, which has been officially announced to the castaways, but instead she was given two gold coins, which now brings her up to three. Um, why did she have one to begin with? Well, there was King's Game. Now, uh, King's Game was a challenge where the survivors had to match different items to the different host team. Um, and both teams only matched three out of seven of the items because apparently Connor lied. Uh, Hot Ones did have the victory, but there was no tribal council due to this mix up. Uh, and Viola clearly is emerging as a leader in the Hot Ones tribe, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, and because of this m mix up, the um, millipedes were trying to come to a consensus, consensus about who they wanted to vote, and they all decided to try and vote Michaela, who's the only person not in like an alliance chat, which really sucks. But she is safe for now, considering that the tribal council was then canceled. So. That's all we have to say for now. So pour yourself a cup and join us for next week of Tea Time. <laughs> you know, I think you guys forgot something. Did we forget something? What could we have forgotten, disembodied voice? Oh yes, medevac. Medevac is something where the castaways can ask to be removed from the game without any punishment to themselves or their team, except for the fact that their team is losing a member. Unfortunately, Brennan did ask to be medevac and we will miss him and he will be in our hearts, but it is great that castaways can afford this opportunity. Thank you, disembodied voice. Thank you.